In this section, we're going to glue up the yaw joint. The yaw joint is comprised of five parts, a top, a bottom, and two sides. The important thing to remember about the tops and the bottoms is that they are keyed, so it's very hard to put them in the wrong way. You'll notice there's a long tab and a short tab. Same thing with this one, long tab, short tab. The top has a opening for a servo, uh, a micro servo to be specific. On one side of the, this is actually Y2. Y2 has an opening here for a servo horn and we'll eventually be gluing Y5 on top of that as a cover. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Basically you're going to apply glue inside the little notches on Y2 and Y1 and then putting them into the pieces. Again, you'll want to do a right angle here, but generally eyeballing it is good. The tolerances on the parts are tight enough that the parts generally settle in nicely into a, a pretty good right angle. So let that sit for a minute. It's going to want to take a few seconds to harden. That may settle a little bit while I'm doing the other one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the drops that I need for the top plate in directly. Right here, so you can probably see all I'm doing is putting them inside the little notches in the side pieces. Put that over there. Grab this plate. pressure. And there it is. We'll let this go ahead and set for a few minutes. And then I'm going to probably start gluing my 5 on right now. Um, as with the roll joint, Y5, what you'll want to do is apply glue around the outsides of the hole here for the horn. Just a little bit, drop on each quadrant. And then you'll drop this thing on, uh, drop Y5 right on top. Uh, there are crosshairs across the hole and there's crosshairs across this part to help you line, the, line things up. There it is. And that now completes the yaw joint. I'm going to make some minor adjustments here to make sure it stays square. You see it settles out pretty quickly into a nice right angle. Okay, in this step we're going to assemble the servo for the yaw joint. Uh, we're using a Tower Pro servo. This is a micro servo. A horn. And two number four by half inch screws. This is actually a fairly simple step. Now before this video had been taken, I actually had widened those holes of the servo using a 1 8 inch drill bit. You turn it by hand into the holes. Uh, this widens up the holes to accept the bolts better. Uh, do not try to use a power drill because the odds are you will snap off these tabs on the servo and the servo won't be useful anymore. So what you do is you'll take the servo, slide it underneath this inside and have it pop up so that the front of the shaft is in this semicircle arc here. Then we'll go ahead and put these uh, bolts on and tighten everything down. Oops. 
people like me with big thumbs have a little tougher time getting in here. There's a couple ways you can do this though. You can uh, actually use a uh, pair of pliers to brace the nut if you needed to. And if it turns out that I have to do that, I will do it. Okay, place the back one. Don't uh, hard tighten down these screws yet until both are actually in place. That way the servo doesn't try to put, pull out of the mount and, and keep your and misalign your holes. This goes a lot easier if you lightly tack them down. And then once both are in, you can give them a good turn and really make sure they're in good shape. Go ahead and put the horn on. And now, this joint is ready. This joint, combined with the pitch joint and the roll joint that we built earlier, are now ready to be assembled into a wrist. We're going to do that at a later step when the Arduino is available to move these servos to their zero position when we assemble the joint.